The most important thing you need to know for a motor examination is the difference between upper motor neural lesion and lower motor neural lesion. The site of pathology, the signs and the causes. So for upper motor neural lesion, it usually occurs when there is damage to either the brain or the spinal cord. A lower motor neural lesion occurs when there is damage to the peripheral nerves down to the neuromuscular junction down to the muscle itself. So for upper motor neural lesion, an example of a cause is stroke or multiple sclerosis, which can affect the brain in case of stroke, and multiple sclerosis, which can affect both the brain and the spinal cord. Examples of low motor neural lesions include Charcot Marie tooth, which can affect the peripheral nerve, myasthenia gravis, which can affect the neuromuscular junction, and Duchenne muscular dystrophy, which can affect the muscle. In terms of signs, for upper motor neural lesion and lower motor neural lesion, they both have weakness, but the other signs differ. So for upper motor neural lesions, the patient will have hypertonia, positive clonus, which actually falls under tone examination, hyperreflexia, and upgoing planters, which is the positive Babinski reflex. For lower motor neural lesions, patients will have hypotonia, hyporeflexia, muscle wasting, and fasciculations. And like we mentioned before, in both upper motor and lower motor neural lesions, the patients will have weakness. So before we finish off this video, there's something very, very important that I want to share with you, the myotomes for the reflexes, knowing that will significantly help you in the examination. So there's a little song that can help you remember. You might have been familiar with it in the past. It goes, one, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, knock on the door. Five, six, pick up sticks. I'm pointing to both because five, six applies to both of them. And then seven, eight, lay them straight. Nine, ten, watch the video again. The last part I just added because I want you to watch the video again and subscribe. So what we're talking about with one, two is S1, S2, responsible for the ankle reflex. Three, four is L3, L4, responsible for the knee jerk reflex. 5, 6 is C5, C6, responsible for two reflexes, the supinator reflex and the biceps reflex. And then 7, 8 is C8, responsible for the triceps reflex. We've reached the end of our video. If you liked anything or gained anything, please drop us a like. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments section. Most importantly, subscribe. Thank you for watching. I will see you.